Babylon's main northern entrance, the Ishtar Gate, was the largest and most elaborate of the city's gateways. Nabopolassar and Nebuchadnezzar II, who erected the structure, probably rebuilt it several times and in a later phase added glazed bricks. The procession of the gods passed through the Ishtar Gate during New Year celebrations. Kings and other historic dignitaries used the gate to formerly enter and leave the city. Although the animal motifs that decorated the gate had multiple meanings, in one the Mushushu dragon was associated with Marduk and his son Nabu, and the bull with the storm god Adad. The Ishtar Gate was initially excavated by the German Oriental Society in 1903 and 1910, and the Nebuchadnezzar II era glazed surface material previously cut away by brick miners was collected and removed. Robert Koldewey was charged with the expedition and his workforce of hundreds of villagers excavated most of the relief fragments found that were later reconstructed in Berlin. The lower levels, still in situ at Babylon, feature unglazed brick reliefs that presumably continue deep underground. Koldewey attempted a sounding that was blocked by the water table before he could reach the base of the gate's foundations, but they continued for several meters below ground level. The unglazed gate beneath the colorful decorations was subject to interventions in the late 1950s and early 1960s, and later during the revival of the Babylon project. These efforts mainly addressed site presentation and the damage caused by the high water table that exacerbated masonry decay. Access staircases were added, a drainage and cistern system dug and capped with concrete flooring, and historic masonry infilled from behind with modern fired bricks. And what you see here is the only gate that still stands on this place. So I would say this is the most important part, archaeologically seen. It has the original situation and it's worth really taking care of. This is an exceptional gate in world history. These inventions only hastened water damage to the monument. The large-scale regrading of the sounding landscape funnels water into the gate. The non-porous concrete pavement, 25 centimeters thick, drives the evaporation process up into the walls, and drainage channels rain down the facade, eroding the animal reliefs, many of which have disappeared since the gate was excavated. Under the direction of the Iraq State Board of Antiquities and Heritage, and supported by World Monuments Fund, work began at the Ishtar Gate in 2010 with the compilation of detailed documentation. Through a Crest Foundation grant, World Monuments Fund employed SciArc, a nonprofit California-based digital documentation agency, to complete a three-dimensional laser scan of the Ishtar Gate complex. At its offices in Oakland, SciArc provided training for two members of the Babylon Documentation Workgroup in software for the creation of plans, elevations, and sections drawings. Since that time, at the encouragement of World Monuments Fund and a directive of the Iraq State Board of Antiquities and Heritage, a group of four engineers, known as the Babylon Documentation Work Group, have been occupied with documenting in detail the entire structure. But the documentation effort includes not only a 3D model and set of AutoCAD drawings, the monument has also undergone detailed photo documentation, monitoring programs, and preparatory studies, too. The results of all are providing a detailed picture of how Ishtar Gate is being affected by the elements and human presence. Thanks to the Babylon Documentation Work Group, this is the first comprehensive documentation of not only the monument, but also its condition. التعاون مع صندوق النصب العالمي فادنا بكثير من المعايير من ضمنها تطبيق المعايير الدولية على سبيل المثال التوثيق وما جرى عليه من توثيق المباني وخاصة بوابة عشتار. The the success was really with a team which have been defined by the local authorities. We have four engineers. We have worked with us. We have 
uh, train them to make survey and they have been capable to finish exceptional an exceptional level of quality of architectural drawings with all the details and this is essential for the following process. In parallel, a preliminary intervention strategy for the Ishtar Gate was developed to stabilize and protect its environment. Since the water table is the main problem, the strategy involves reducing the impact of rainwater drainage from anterior facades and encouraging evaporation from the water table. منذ عام 2008 وحتى الآن وصندوق الآثار العالمي يقوم بأعمال مهمة لتوثيق المباني الأثرية في مدينة بابل يعني قطعنا شوطا طويلا في موضوع توثيق ننماخ وبوابة عشتار والتوثيق الآثاري جزء من مهامنا من مهام الهيئة طبعا منذ تأسيس الهيئة ولكن الآن برزت الحاجة ملحة لموضوع التوثيق بالضبط بعد انتهاكات داعش للمواقع الأثرية التوثيق الآن وخاصة بالوسائل الحديثة وبالرقمنة الحديثة يساعد كثيرا الكوادر الآثارية في موضوع إعادة ترميم وصيانة المواقع الآثارية التي تعرضت للنسف للتفجير Although conceived prior to the current crisis in looting and the destruction of antiquities, the Babylon Documentation Workgroup's mission has now become all the more important for Iraq.